guys, this is Ekinjin1. So finally, Android 11 official update has came out first in Germany. And as you can see right now, I'm running on One UI 3 Beta 3. So now I'm going to install the official update and you can install it too. Just to let you guys know that the only country that has got the update so far is Germany. So if you want, you can download and install. Otherwise, you can wait for a week or so until you get the news that your country has released Android 11. And you can follow this video as a guidance. Anyways, moving on to the computer, just make sure you download Samfirm, Smart Switch to back up your files, and Odin. The link will be on the description below. Once you have downloaded Samfirm, just right click and extract here. Then you will have Samfirm folder. Just open up Samfirm, launch Samfirm. Then from here, just go to Samsung tab and type your model number. Then the region, the current region is Germany. So this is the only country that has got the update. Just like I mentioned earlier, you can just come here, come back and check here your region. If it has got the Android 11 update, press check for update. And if you scroll up a bit, you will see Android 11. Now, if you want to check your region, so for example, in my country, it is United Arab Emirates. Just going to enter that. Press on check for update. And you can see it is Android 10. So I'm just going to check that in the next week. So for time being, I'm just going to use the Germany, which has the Android 11. Press check for update. And then simply press download. I have already done this process, so I'm just going to cancel that very quick. So it may take 5 minutes or 10 minutes depending on your internet speed. Now once that is done, it shows the operation has been completed. Then you can close the window. I'm just going to show you that all of my data is here. You can see that all of the applications. And I'm just going to install the official update without the need to backup or format the device. But just for a safety measure, it is best to back up using Smart Switch if you haven't already. Anyways, just shut down your phone. Just hold volume up button and volume down button simultaneously. And connect your phone using a USB cable. Then you should see the warning sign. Press volume up to go to download mode. Now go to Odin, right click, run as administrator. Press OK. Then you should see the blue bar. If you don't see the blue bar, then restart your computer and do the same procedure again. Now press on BL, go to your downloaded ROM. So from here, download firmware, Samsung model number then you should see your firmware anyways so you can see here BLBL BL, just click on that then the same for AP this one takes a while so just leave your computer and phone alone press on CP on this tab, make sure you click on home underscore TSC to avoid your personal data getting wiped. Now, once that is done, just press start. And your computer and your phone should do its work. Now you can see that you got the pass sign, just close the window and let us focus on the device itself. And as you can see, all of my data is there. Nothing has been deleted. Now let me just go to the settings very quick. At the end, about device, then software info. And you can see that I'm running on the One UI Android 11 and the build number here you can see it's TLL which is the official 
and stable version. I'm just going to check the status of the safety net very quick. And you can see it is passed. So now the Samsung Pay, Google Pay, or any banking app should work fine on your device. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. We'll be making more awesome videos like benchmark, battery life, gaming, features, and many more. Would be awesome if you could subscribe and like. We'll be signing out now. Peace.